Welcome to Technically Short. Alright, what's going on, guys? So, eventually we'll have a uh, an intro. We don't know when yet, <laughs> but we'll eventually. Have Maybe we'll have Mark Season 2. <laughs> we promise we'll get an intro for you guys at some point. Yeah, at some point. We don't, have, we don't necessarily have a, a plan <laughs> for that, but we uh, we do have it on our, like... To-do list? On our to-do list, on what we want to, like, uh, how... Uh, actually, it goes into our topic for the day, uh, to, uh, to feed, go feed into the uh, part of the vision of, of, oh, of the podcast. I see what you did there. Yep. Because, um, but yeah, we want to talk... Really, we just want to talk about vision, what vision is, what vision isn't, and... Kind of just have, we're just gonna really just gonna have a discussion on it. We were talking about it a little bit earlier and we may or may not have some differentiating, differentiating views, which honestly is part of the reason we started this podcast. So. That's very true. So, uh, Sean, why, why don't you start? What do you, uh, what do you see as vision? Vision is the what? I was, uh, wondering, like, like, I thought vision was the why for a while. So I used to think like, okay, it's the why behind you, reason why you're doing something. But actually it's the what behind what you're doing. See, like our vision here is to help millions of people. That's our vision. That's the reason why we do our podcast is so we can help people. Um, you care if I jump in real quick? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Um, I mean, I'm going to ask, ask you a question. Like you say it's to help millions of people. Yeah. But that vision in itself is, is defined. Right. And that's not like that itself. Like, I agree with that. It's to help people, but that's very like vague. It's very like, broad. Yeah. In what way are we going to help people? Uh, we're going to help people by our testimony and by testimonies of others and the people who are listening so they can get some spiritual healing, but some also some mental and physical healing as well. Mm-hmm. No, that's good. And like, I think like the other day, Sean and I, we're actually, this will give you a little sneak peek of the, like what, what we, we started doing, what we want to start doing more of in the future as well. Just like us, like having one on one time with each other, talking about the future of the podcast and like uh, talking vision and what we plan, like what we plan to do so that we can give you guys a, a better experience. Like that's like something like planning out, uh, planning out an intro and also how we plan on helping others in the future with other guests we plan to have on. But we, sat down for like an hour the other day and we talked about, we thought we were talking about vision yeah. the, whole, the whole time. And, uh, we, but we, okay. We wanted a statement that would really, and if you, if you're on Spotify or actually if you're anywhere, you, you might be able to see our, the updated, the updated, what is that? A uh, description of the podcast, which says the vision of the technically short is, and I need to change that. If it, I might change it by the time this episode comes out. <laughs> but, uh, it's, like, it's something along, I don't have, uh, it memorized word, word for word yet. But if you have it on your phone, try and bring that up. Um, but essentially what we were doing is talking purpose and the vision, like the vision and purpose are very two, they're two very distinct things. And, but this is something Sean and I were talking about earlier today, earlier this morning, because we, we're actually recording for the mo- in the morning for the first time. Um, we were talking about the differences between um, vi- between vision and purpose, and I personally believe I, I feel like I mix up the two a lot. And like he just said, which I agree with, agree with. The vision is the what, but if the vision is the what, the purpose is the why. Oh, sweet. Um, so the what we wrote down as the vision statement, which really is actually the purpose statement. So, but it goes, the vision for the technically short podcast is with drastically different pers- perspectives, give our listeners the tools to grow personally and live the lives they've been called to lead. And that's going to, thanks man. No problem. And that's going to be through, that's going to be through our, like our discussions and the topics that we, uh, that we pick the, the, the topics we, and then like the reason why, be, the reasons why we pick the topics that we pick. Like, it, and if they don't go, if they do not align with that purpose, then we don't do with the topic. And if they, and then if there's a per, uh, guest, like, like, if there's a guest that we're going to have, we want to have on, we believe that this guest has something to say that will help, uh, help or change somebody's life in a way that will help them under, like, help maybe give you a new understanding, maybe give you, maybe a new understanding, maybe give you a new perspective on something that maybe you had no idea about before. 
like I think a lot of things that Dave talked about in a previous episode, Dave Miller talked about in one of our previous episodes about like going through alcoholism and like what that was like and that the community did in his life. And that's a completely different perspective on community, but things I've experienced in different ways. So it like gives people, and it gives also people that may be going through certain things that Sean and I haven't gone through. Right. Like not every time, not, not every episode is going to, uh, for the guest is going to be a testimony. Right. But like it's, but it's going to be something that uh, we're going to invite people on that if we believe they have something that aligns with our purpose for the podcast and aligns with the vision of guiding guiding people and helping these helping these Sean, with Sean saying the millions of people we want to help in the future. Absolutely, we say we say millions, not saying like uh, that's one thing I want to touch on. A, like a vision is not supposed to be small. A vision is like we say millions. I, was, I said thousands. He goes, no, let's go millions. John, Sean likes diving in head first. Yeah. <laughs> like John, Absolutely, I, that's part of the reason like this is good to do with with him. Um, because we our biz, different perspectives kind of molds a different kind of vision than either of us would do on our own, and I think like I'm sharp and tired. Yeah, but yeah, I think like the mm, yeah, I think like with a vision, with a vision that we're gonna have that we do have for this, we just don't have it written down yet, which we will do. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, that like our plan, our our plan is to just strategic, strategic, strategically and intentionally execute this vision in a way that will benefit our listeners more than it benefits us. And it could be as like, I feel if a vision isn't to help other, this is my own perspective. I feel like, like if a vision is just for yourself, then it's going to, then it's kind of small. Yeah. It's kind of a small vision, regardless if you're like, I'm going to make a million dollars. And like, that's not a bad thing to go for, like a good, bad goal. Right. But it's, um, but to me, I'm like, that kind of seems like a small vision in comparison to what could be happening, like, expanded from that. Um, what do you think, Sean? I agree. I feel like your vision, especially as leaders, as we talk, it should be more purposeful for us to have a vision to help others than it is for ourselves. Like, the goal isn't so Sean can get a new Bugatti <laughs> or something crazy like a nice, ridiculous million-dollar outfit. That's That's stupid. Like, in my eyes, th- those are horrible visions. Mm-hmm. Visions should be, like, an area where, like, the Bible says, and the Lord says, um, this is how Bata, 2-2, two, two, write the vision, make it plain on the tablet so he may run, who who reads it. So, like, anybody should be able to read your vision and mm-hmm. be like, oh, okay, this is going to help X, Y, and Z, how many people? That's good, yeah. Like... Like, this is who I'm going to help. Right. This is who I'm going to help, and this is how, like, and how many people, like, minimum. <laughs> right. That I plan, that I, that I, that I or we want to help with this. Uh, I think, um, this is, I won't quote this perfectly, because I just heard it on podcast once. Um, and this is, like, not everybody's perspective, but this was, uh, um, it's very, it was very odd when I heard it for the first time, but I heard John Maxwell say this on a podcast. I think it was on the John Maxwell Leadership Podcast. I think this was probably weeks ago. Um, so excuse me if I don't say this right, but the I believe you said that he never he he was I he I know that he said this. He was I never set a goal. I've never set goals, and I never will. He was because anybody can set a goal. Anybody can set a goal. Everybody does set goals, but not like but, yeah, but like like the minority accomplishes them. Mm. So it's he goes I he goes I he goes I create vision and I plan. I, think, I don't know if that's exactly what he said, it but it, good, it's essentially like I plan to I, I plan to take action, and the goals would just kind of fall in place. And like the uh, so and like the goal because if you have a goal, if you have these, setting these goals, they should be aligning with some sort of vision. So like if I don't set, I go don't set. He was like don't I don't set goals. I just like, I just have this very far out vision that I just do everything that everything I do is for that vision. So then the goals just happen without meaning to set them. And like that's how I interpreted what he said. I think that's right. And like I'm like I'm like I'm not I'm not I'm not, I'm not saying do not set goals. I feel like uh, I feel like setting goals is inherently a good thing, but it can't. But like well, like he said, anybody can set one. So if you're not doing it intentionally, then it's going to fail. If you're if you're just like I'm going to lose weight, well, how much weight are you going to lose? Right. Like if if like if if you're just like I just want to lose weight, like well then what are you how how are you going to lose weight? What's your plan? Like, are you, are you going to be consistent with it? 
Uh, what's your vision? The vision is to, like the vision. Okay, why do you want to lose weight? I want to lose weight so I can live a hell. I want to lose weight. It's not me specifically because I feel like I'm at 80 pounds sometimes, but like the, uh, the, I want to lose weight because I want to live, uh, because I want to lose weight so I can, like, this is me personally. I would say, like, say personally, but not personally, lose weight so I can serve every, serve at my highest capacity for, at, for as long as I can and I would serve as many people as I can. The, like, I feel like, that, that 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 goes along the lines of like for me and my brain like okay maybe I'm mixing up purpose and vision again but like um I feel like for vision and goal it has to be distinct but I'm gonna go off that topic I feel like I'm rabbit holing a little bit um but yeah that kind of um going back I'm gonna run back to vision real quick and mm, before I hop into this Sean you have anything else you wanna bring up yeah I would say like a good vision statement describes the bigger picture impact that you're doing day to day so. Our vision should be something that we're currently doing, but we're going to try to do on a larger scale. So, like, whatever you're doing, like, say, the person who was trying to lose weight or whatever, it's good that they want to lose weight, but it can't be just, like, I want to lose one pound, okay? So, you do this, you lose one pound, and it's too small of a goal. Like, what you said was way better because it was, like, the, the person's trying to lose weight for a specific purpose, for a long period of time, a long, a long impact that they would have on their work or whatever they're doing. And that's what a vision is. So I think you said it well, because I mean, a lot of people think like a goal is the same as a vision, which is, it's not because a goal in a, is separate because like I would say like a vision has the way it's described is like a vision is a picture of a big impact of work that you're doing. So like, it has to be big. It's not something you could just be like, well, my goal is for me to go back to school. That's my vision. And it's like, no, that's not the same thing. Like you go back to school, but what's the impact? What is, what is the future um, you're going to do? What's the bigger picture? It can't be just yeah. going back to school. It could be like, I want to, go back to school so I could pass their millions of people. Now that could mm-hmm. be your vision, but if you're just saying, I want to go back to school, that's just a goal. And there's a difference between vision and goal. Right. No, that's cool. That's good. That's good. And I like, that kind of brings me to a point I wanted to bring up. Um, this kind of goes back to a previous episode called Hel- uh, that we did with it called Healthy Rejection, where we were talking, we talked about saying no to good so you can uh, actually, so you, uh, I, I, re- I reworded things a little bit, but um, where we, we talk, we've talked about not, uh, saying no to the good things so you can actually make, may actually make space for the great in this, in this case, you know, that the great is pursuing your vision. And the more serious that vision, the more you're going to say no to. And that, that's because like, if you're serious about pursuing not just personal growth, but personal growth in a very particular area, or like your, 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 your vision is to, be able to have, be able to have, even if it's like just ten thousand dollars in your savings. If that's your vision, and like you're serious about that, you're going to say a no to a lot of things. If your goal is to, you know, you know, if your goal is to be like I, if your goal, your vision is to be uh, one one of the. This is going to be bizarre, but like the most fit person in the world, then you're going to say no to a lot of things. Yeah. And you're going to say yes to a lot of, but then you're going to say yes to a lot of things that are going to align with that vision. Like, it's like, whenever you're, whenever you're pursuing a vision that you're serious about, self-discipline and like the fruit of the spirit, self-control really plays a big part. Oh, absolutely. Easily. Like the, with, because without self-control, without being, without self-control, without discipline, a vision is, a vision itself will perish. Because if you cannot pursue, the, if you if you can set a vision, you can write it down. But if, if you not if you do not intentionally pursue it, it will it will go to somebody else. Oh, I agree easily. Somebody will take somebody will take it, and they won't take it from you. They'll just like somebody will do it for somebody will do it. And some I got I um I heard some people say this, and there's problem. I, I, I don't you can correct me, Sean, if I'm wrong on this. But um some people some people some people believe. I don't know if I actually believe this or not. Per, I, but like it's um, God, like um, 
God give you give, God gives the calling, but if you do not uh, if you do not accept the call, then he'll give it to somebody else. Oh no, that's one hundred percent true. Okay, <laughs> I, like, I, I, I'm like that is a hundred percent true. Because like, there's so many people where in like God has given all of us specific gifts and specific callings. Yeah, so many people don't walk in their calling, and if like for instance, like when I was younger, I always thought about like being a pastor, getting stuff done, and then it's like. Boom! I didn't do any of it. So then it was like somebody else already did my my uh what I my, had a heart for, which is to lead like a multicultural type of church. That's mm-hmm. where I go to now. And but what I'm saying is, if you don't do what God's asking you to do, somebody else will. Yeah, and that, that's 100 percent true. Easily, I agree 100. percent Your 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 purpose, your calling in life. Yeah. If you don't do your dream, you don't do your goal. You don't do what God has asked you to do. Somebody else will. And you just will be the one out of it. You'll be like, oh, man, I had these ideas. I should have d- did this. I should have did this. I should have. You can even have proof. Like, there's so many people who have patents on really cool stuff. Yeah. And then there's other people who had the exact same yeah, idea. Actually, yeah. You yeah. know what I mean? And they For just that. never went forward with it. Mm-hmm. And, like, hmm. That's good. I keep wanting to go back. I'm looking for my notes. And as I wrote them down for this, I wrote them in a very consecutive order um, about, like, the last one was... The more serious the vision, the more the more you'll need to say no to. Right. Um, and I'm sorry if I derailed no, what you were saying. No, I, I, I'm loving um, it. So this is good. I think uh, yeah, I just finished, like, last night, I just finished, like, the actionable, like, at the end of each one of these chapters, an actionable step, uh, actionable steps to take and the 21 Irrefutable Laws of Leadership by John Maxwell. And this chapter I just finished is called The Law of Sacrifice. And the whole, like, kind of slogan, I guess you'd say, for this chapter is you must give up to go up. Is that you, in order to, in order to, um, personally grow, in order to grow, like in this case, this was in leadership, uh, in order to grow in every, any area of your life, you have to, you have to make sacrifices. And, like, he was like, and like, one of the actionable things in that chapter was write down two lists, one things that you're willing to give up and one list of things that you're not in order, in, in like, and like that will tell you, like you have to take take some intentional time and think about that stuff of like, what am I willing to give up to pursue, uh, to pursue this vision to, be, to make sure I can, my, in order to be the best leader I can be, in order for me like be the best developer I can be, to be the like, what am I willing to get, what am I willing to give up in order in, in order to do that? I gave my like he was like, what are you going to do like what, what you're going to do with your time? What about your energy, your resources? Um relationships relationships with friends and family um like what are you willing to give up what are you willing not to give up and make and they make sure you're thinking about which one's going to go where and because like there's no wrong answer to that i don't believe but if there's nothing going on what you're willing to give up then you're not going to be able to do anything i think that's so good i think there's nothing i know i should correct that you're not gonna be able to do anything great i i i love that honestly because it's truthful like think about how much jesus had to give up for us Right. Yeah. In order for us to be able to attain heaven, Jesus had to give everything. He sacrificed his life, his time on earth so that we can go to heaven. Mm -hmm. And I think about that, like the disciples and stuff as they they went through a huge sacrifice for us to have churches, how we have churches now. Right. Mm -hmm. Like so the sacrifice is so good because like you have to, to be a good leader. You're going to have to sacrifice something, whether it be your time, whether it be the activities you're doing, whether it be your habits. You're going to have to sacrifice a lot of things to become great. And I agree 100%, Thomas. That's yeah. 100% wise. Wise counsel. So, Sean, I, like, um, we have maybe, like, today we're making sure we cut it out around 30 minutes. Yeah. Um, we have about, I don't know, nine and a half minutes left. So... I mean, I, I end, not end, maybe we'll see, but <laughs> the, Nate's episode, every, <laughs> every question was the last question, but, um, hmm, I, was, I already had one written down. Oh, actually, that's exactly the question I was going to, I, I thought it was, I had a different question written down. Nope, it's the same one I thought of. Um, so it's maybe it's two questions, but I'm just going to let you talk on it. Uh, Sean, what is a vision you have for your life and what have you or are, what are you willing to give up? Okay. Um, vision for my life. I believe God will use me so I can preach the gospel to millions of people. Um, what I'm willing to give up, I'm willing to give up everything that is not for of God. 
And I'm also willing to give up time and bad habits because I have a lot of them. If I'm being honest, I have a lot of bad habits. Um, right. Name some of the bad habits. I would say, not if I'm starting off with bad habits, spending unwisely. Um, I do that a lot. And I know that like God's working more with me on that. Mm-hmm. And I know that I'll be good. And because it's first knowing you have a problem, then starting to do steps of wisdom, and then taking the counsel that your brothers and sisters who are doing prosperous in that, they'll listen to them. Like, so, um, that's one of my biggest, I'd say, bad habit. Um, other bad habit, uh, you don't have to go into all of them. You just, whatever, what do you think? Whatever, whatever comes to your head, and then, um, yeah, I would say like wasting time too. So, like, yeah. wasting time. Okay. So right now I'm I'm trying to do more re- leadership books, trying to read those. I do a lot of uh, leadership programs. Like um, I was doing the college institute thing classes for that. I haven't did that in a while. Um, but I've done more of like leadership devotions and stuff in the morning and stuff like that. So I can I do a lot of those. Mm. Try to get as many stuff I can do about learning to be a better leader and growing. And also growing in a godly leadership style, too. So, like, I like to do both. So I could become the best leader I can possibly be. Um, so, yeah, I think it's about sacrificing your bad habits, sacrificing um, pretty much everything for God's purpose. Anything that you can, you know what I mean? That's, a real, that's honestly really good. Cause that's, not what, that's not what I would have thought of. So that's really good. Um, because whenever I think of, like, giving things up, it's, what, it's, it's like... Give, like, I think I was like en- I, I was like going off what he said is like giving up en- like my energy like okay I'll spend more time on, on energy like it's like staying up not just like spending the time that I would otherwise be spending doing something else kind of what you were saying yeah but like because those other things could have been good things not necessarily bad habits right um but like the but energy is like I'll spend like me my me spend like uh, my energy I I try to I I try to get the most sleep I possibly can when not like uh, well most I try to get the most good nights of sleep that I possibly can of eight, uh, of at least of eight hours, uh, eight to nine hours. And like, um, but if I'm serious enough about my vision, that there's going to be a point where I need to be willing to give up whatever, give up some of those hours of sleep to pursue the vision and be like, okay, tomorrow is going to be a little rough, but it'll be worth it for tonight because I'm in a groove. Right. Um, <laughs> um, but no, man, that was really good. I, I, um, I honestly really think like that's something people can talk about. The reason I, the reason I just asked you specifically what well, you're here, but like the reason I asked you was because I, not because I didn't know and one reason that I didn't know what you were going to say. And I, and I feel like it, I knew it would be interesting and good for the listeners to hear, but also I wanted to kind of, um, in a sense, coach you into thinking, into thinking about what these things are so then other people can hear it and be like, and be like, okay, what are my, what are my things that I'm willing to give up? And then now they can be like, what are my bad habits? That are pulling me away from my vision. Yeah, so good. What what's not, what am I doing right now that are not for my own good? It's so good. And like they might be feel that might be good for me in that might feel good for me in the moment, but those things compound. And like I, I like I really love so many people say it, consistency compounds. And that is for good things and for bad things. That's true. So like even if it doesn't feel something you're doing right now doesn't feel bad for you now it will be really bad for you if you continue to do it in the future uh, every 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 day or whatever however habitually you do it it will it, there will there will be a reckoning when that whatever, like the, the, there will be a knock at the door it won't be what it won't be what you want to even like you open the door you won't you won't like like, like what you see That's and like so um in like I so like if you're gonna if consistency compounds and we only have so much time on this earth then you should be like. I, be- I believe, I, at least with for me, I want to do all the things I can personally do to consistently compound in a po- in a positive, self uh, positive, gr- uh, growing, sustainable, and uh, life giving way that I can then, like I said before, then I can serve others at a higher capacity. That's but, so good, and it adds to, and it, and that's part of my vision. It's be able to. It's it, part of it is to serve people. Using my God, give the gifts that He's given me to serve people at my highest capacity. 
and like that, that he's given me and like and whenever I'm at, not at my highest capacity to be able to obviously lean on him and then and then your capacity our capacities can grow absolutely right our capacities can grow but whenever we're weak we lean on him and we make a practice of that like I know I feel like we're jumping around but like it's there's so many parts of this I wasn't sure where this conversation was going to go there's so many parts of vision there's like the, there's actually defining the vision but then there's actually and making it distinct uh, there, then there's act, then there's making. Like, we're gonna kind of just recap real quick. Defi- yeah. Defining the vision, making it distinct. Be, there's actually then there's pursuing the vision, understanding your why, your purpose behind the vision, and then understanding what you're willing to give up or what you're willing not to give up in order to pursue that vision. Like, th- like we kind of just went through the what, why, and how. Yep. And there's, I think the how there's definitely way more we could talk about there. But um, we're coming close on time here. Um, Maybe at some, we'll probably at some point we'll touch on vision again uh, in the future. Yeah, because this um, was a good episode. I think people are going to really be helped. I feel, I feel, I feel, I want, I, like, if you guys like this episode, right now on Spotify, the question is, like, who do you want to hear on this? Uh, who would you like to hear as a guest? I might switch that back to say, like, what do you think of this episode? Uh, because I feel like that allows people to get more feedback. And if you um, don't, if you, for some reason, like, don't want to do that, I don't want to do that, or it'd be awesome you could share uh, if you could share it, just share Absolutely. this episode if you like this episode, or even just like save it if you want to listen to it again. Um, but yeah, definitely like if you if you like this episode, definitely get, like if if you're on a platform where you can rate us, or, or you can rate us, give us five stars, give us five stars, give us the on your on yeah, five stars, but also make sure it's honest. Yeah. <laughs> uh, five stars is what we want, but if it's four stars, we won't we won't be mad. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Uh, one star probably shouldn't be leaving a review, but um. <laughs> anyway, uh, <laughs> but uh, but no, I think uh, I really I really enjoyed this episode. I hope you did too. If you guys haven't already, definitely um, like I said, uh, d- drop give us a follow, like uh, subscribe. Like, subscribe, whatever pop you're on, drop a rating, and uh, share it with your friends.